Hello and welcome back to Pitch Golf's YouTube channel. I'm PGA professional Gary Monroe and today we're going to be doing a little bit of testing between my old irons and trying out the new Rogue Pros. So this is the look of them here. We've got the Apex Pros. I've got these at two degrees upright, half an inch longer with a Project X 6.5 um, shaft, which is an extra stiff. Then the other club we're going to be trying out is the Rogue Pro Head. I'm going to make it a fair test by using the exact same shaft. Both going to be two degrees upright. Um, what I'm going to test here is I really like my current iron. Um, I'm very consistent with my distance control. We'll see that if, if I can continue that in a minute. But I'm normally very consistent and I like actually um, how much I can work the golf ball with this. So trajectory and fade shots, draw shots. So what I'm going to test out to see is, can I keep that workability with the new iron? Um, do I get any more forgiveness, any more distance? And just see if it's worth me, you know, putting this in the bag for my next few events and stuff, or if it's worth, you know, keeping with this one. Um, as normal, we're going to be using the Foresight HMT uh, here at Pitch to measure all the data. I've set us up on the Wentworth 8th hole. Um, which is a nice hole, it's got water there at about 2.30, so I'm just going to be hitting some seven irons down there. I normally hit it around the 175 to 178 mark on the course um, with my current seven iron. So we'll use that as, I'll see how these two can perform today. Um, let's get started with it. Okay, so I'm going to hit a few shots um, with my current iron, the Apex Pro forged head, two degrees upright, um, and the spec is half an inch longer uh, and an extra shift stiff shaft. This one is 125 grams. Okay, so I'm just going to hit some normal shots. I'd normally hit a little draw, so let's see how I get on, and we'll get some averages and uh, see where we're at with this. Okay. that one a tiny bit out the heel I think it's gone very straight a tiny bit higher than I'm used to wasn't a great strike that one yeah tiny bit out the heel um, club head speed 90 I normally swing it a little bit faster than that so for the to make this a fair test I'm still going to hit them all the same I'm trying to swing it around 92 miles per hour as my normal That's a bit better. So a nice little draw shape on that one. There we go, that was a bit more like it. Okay. So strike a tiny bit more central. Club head speed was up to 94, so that's more like it. Okay, let's try one more. Didn't quite nail that one, but I've still got the shape I wanted. Little draw, carrying, about the 175. So, on average, out of those three shots, it's, you know, a true reflection. Didn't quite capture the data on that one there. But it was a true reflection in terms of shot shape and height. What I do like about this iron is I've got very good ability to, to hit the lower punch shots, um, low fades, low draws. So, let's... Let's hit a low draw here. So I'm going to really bring that trajectory down. Let's see if I was playing in wind. So ball's further back in my stance. Driving it low, it's got the low draw shape. And obviously that's going to run on nicely. So I like the ability that I've got with this club to change the workability with the club face. I, I just I feel good control with it. Let's see how the Rogue Pro compares and then we'll compare the data at the end. Okay. So part of our custom fitting service here, um, we've got a Callaway account with all the different shafts, all the different head types, um, lie angles, and stuff like that so it's very simple we can just unscrew the heads keep the same shaft 
and screw the heads back. Okay, so the Rogue Pro is all made up now. Um, this is what the finish looks like from behind. Nice chrome uh, finish. Top line's not too thick. It's a little bit thicker than the, the Apex Pro there. And it's got the Cup 360 face technology. This is gonna help the ball come out a lot faster. Um, as you can see, exact same shaft, two degrees upright, it's so half an inch longer, so it's the exact same spec. This is just going to be testing now to see if we get any more distance, any more workability to compare to my Apex Pro. Okay, definitely felt like it came out a bit faster. Carry was a bit more there, it's up to 180. So strike was very centered, club head speed similar, 93.7. Okay, that was a bit better swing and slightly more neutral flight. Again, consistently carrying just over the 180 mark, those two, and it's rolling out a lot more. So I can feel the ball coming off faster, perhaps the spin's a little bit lower as well. Um, could be to do with this face technology that they've got in the Rogue Pro. That was nice. So, three good ones there. That last one was, was really, really good. I reckon total distance is up to 200. So let's, let's do one of the punch shots and then we can compare the data. Okay, so ball's back in stance, into wind, let's drive it low. Nice. So I feel it was easy to actually control uh, the trajectory there. Let me just get my uh, mouse. Okay. So, comparing the two averages, yellow at the top is the Apex Pro that I've been using currently. The red is the Rogue Pro. Um, so it's got the 360 face technology, which is meant to prevent, uh, sorry, not prevent, give you more ball speed. Here we can see we're averaging 118.5 ball speed. That's how fast the ball is coming off the club face at impact. This is what all the foresight gives us. Um, and then down here, 123.7. So five miles an hour more ball speed with the um, Rogue Pro and the club speed, very similar. Um, I swung my one a little bit slower, so that could contribute a little bit to the facts. So it's a couple miles an hour slower on average. Ball speed up five miles per hour. Let's have a look at the launch angle now. The launch angle is lower with the Rogue Pro. So it's launching lower and it's spinning lower. That's why I could feel it going, coming out faster and a bit, you know, it looked like it was a much more penetrating ball flight. So the lofts are a bit stronger on the Rogue Pros. So they've de-lofted them. Um, I think it's one degree stronger at the moment than my Apex is. So you can definitely see that it's coming out lower in the launch angle. The spin, I spin it at six and a half thousand on average with my Apex. With these, they're spinning at just under six thousand. And let's have a look at the distance here. Carry. I was carrying it 10 yards further with this at 180, 179. Total difference uh, distance was 192. So it was coming in and it was, you know, it was really bouncing and running on. Total distance was 182 with my Apex Pro. So that's 10 yards further there. That's brilliant for me. I'm, you know, I always want to pick up yardage. Um, at me, my level playing in pro events. You've also got to be careful about you need to control the ball and stop it on the green. So I don't want it coming in too low and too flat that when it's a firm summer day like today, I can't control and stop the ball near the flag. So those numbers are still very good. I can easily put this in the bag, but I don't want to be getting something that's you know too de-lofted and my seven iron's coming out like a four iron and I can't control it. So this is right on the edge for me. Um, I'm very happy with the distance I'm getting. So to be hitting it 192 with a 7 iron and feeling like I'm swinging very in control, I'm happy with. And the overall dispersion was very similar as well. So 
I like that. What I also like is the ability to flight the ball down. I use this a lot in tournaments. I put the ball back and I play those kind of punch, sawn off follow through swings. You might see Tommy Fleet with Justin Rose, those guys do it. I play that a lot. So to be able to put trust in the club and it produce the ball flight I want, that's a big part of my decision making. So between the two, this is the, the one I've been trusting for over a season now, the Apex Pro. This is the Rogue Pro. I'm leaning towards putting the Rogue Pro in the bag. I like the look of it. I like the way it's performing. I think I'm going to get a set and give it a go in my next tournament. Thanks for watching here um, down at Pitch Golf. If you want to come down, you can use our facilities. We've got the Foresight technology, Swing Catalyst pressure plates. You can come in for a bay hire for lessons. We're open Monday to Friday um, and we're expanding to a second floor. So we're just on Bishopsgate, which is on Liverpool Street. Anyone can come down. Um, we can get you signed up as a member where you get access to all of this technology um, and use of it at a discounted rate. So contact either me on here or visit our website and I'll tell you more information. Thanks for watching.